Hi, is anybody there? I've got to get my canoe turned around. I'm facing in the wrong direction, of course. I told you guys I would be um, coming on to do... Oops, I lost my screen. Ah! <laughs> Shoot. There. Stay. I was coming on to do um, a live reading with you guys, and I'm talking kind of quiet because I'm in a little cove and people live around here. But, um, God, i got to get my canoe turned around, so I'm going to turn you guys around for a second. And I'm going to use my oar, and I'm going to maneuver. We're in a really beautiful little cove, and I've had the most incredible conversation with my girlfriend, Caitlin. And the animal messengers that came here were just off the hook the whole time. I had, look at that black dragonfly right there. And he's doing the same thing as the other one the other day. He's giving the other one a, a piggyback. God, that's a trip. Anyway, I had this white heron who was fishing, and he was so funny to watch. He was so intent on what he was after, and he would shake his head, and I, I, I couldn't videotape it because I was talking to my girlfriend, but I took pictures of it, and it was hysterical. And I've had um, the night heron, no matter where I have gone, the night heron has been in front of me. Hi, hi. The night heron that we talked about for our weekly reading, he, he's been everywhere. And I said, it doesn't matter what part of the lake I go on, if I, if I go to this side or this cove or onto the other cove, he's there. So, um... I took pictures, I'm going to post them later. So here I am, and I've got this dragonfly that's just flirting with me. He's just totally hanging out right there. It's hysterical. I wish you guys, I wish I could have been doing, I told Caitlin, I wish I could have been doing the live reading um, when we were watching, when I was watching these animal messengers come. It was just a trip. But I want to show you, when I came down to, the, um, to, my, to get my canoe, there was a bunch of uh, feathers in the grass, in the seagrass, like at, at, the, at the edge of the, at the, at the lake. And so I started picking them up because the feathers are, are huge for me. And I counted, got them here, I counted them. One after another after another. And I counted and there were six of the same feathers. So six means don't worry so much about material concerns, right? Keep your thoughts more focused towards spirit. And everything else will be brought to you. But there were two really special ones. And I wasn't sure. I, I said, are they duck feathers? I wasn't sure what they were until I kept seeing this night heron that showed up. And, and I said, I think, in the weekly reading, I wish I could have one of his feathers. I want one of his feathers. And he went by, and I've got two. Hold on. See if I can show you, if you can see the, can you see the purple? Can you see the purple? I don't know if you guys can see how, when you turn it, you can see the purple in the light. Anyway, that's one of them. I don't know if you can see that. Where's the other one? There's another one that's really pretty. And then I got a message about my, my twin. He was all tangled up. Hold on. Ah, I'll show it to you in a second. Anyway, my twin was tangled up and I had to, uh, I, I found him on the side of the, on the side here, tangled up in this old dead wood. And uh, I freed him. So I, I energetically um, and physically, symbolically freed my beautiful fish. <laughs> so now I've got him. He was all tangled up and I had to help him get loose. Okay, so I'm not going to talk anymore about that. I'm just going to do the readings unless I have animal messengers show up. So, uh, like I said, it's getting late. I've been here for such a long time. I've been talking to my girlfriend, Caitlin. And uh, I'm, I'm floating at, in the sun. So, um, hi. So, let's see. How many people... Sandy, you're there, so you can be my, uh, you can be my secretary. We've got the spirit oracle cards. When I, when I started out, I was underneath this, um, this branched tree in area, and I was in the shade, and now the sun's coming back around. The sun hasn't been out all day. That's why I was so excited to come out here. I was excited to not have sun <laughs> because it's been so hot. I haven't even been in my canoe for so long. I had cobwebs. So, okay. So, so let's see. Seven. We have seven people. I can read for seven people. How about we put it that way? I can read for seven people. If there aren't seven people, that's fine. One by one, I want hi. I want everybody to say, yes, please. I'd like a reading. Um, and then Sandy's going to write them down for me because she's my personal secretary. <laughs> and since Sandy's my personal secretary, I'm going to do her first. Oh, it feels so good out here with the breeze. I've got breeze. Look where I'm at. This is this. I love this little cove. Oh, and guess what I did? I uh, remember I was seeing the paddle boarders, and I was talking about how the paddle boarders yesterday 
uh, the girls were sitting and they weren't getting anywhere and the guys were standing and they went flying and I thought you know what I'm gonna do this so I stood in my canoe yesterday and I and I took myself across um, standing like Robinson Crusoe so I came across the lake like I'm across the lake right now I'm not in my cove I'm nowhere near my cove I had to come all the way out and I did it standing in my canoe like like Robinson Crusoe <laughs> it was super fun so it was like a, a, a good balance workout it didn't wasn't hard for me but it's good for your stuff for your for your core for your upper body for everything and it was funny because I posted a video of Liger my cat right and I've told you that my I, I go back and forth between who is my cat and, and who is and, 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 and who is Lily. So we know Lily is my twin. Um, so I go out and I see Liger and he's lying, he's lying like the, this walrus in the middle of the living room. And I said, so, and he was doing like a yoga pose. He had his arms stretched out like he was stretching. And he's so fat and he's got this big belly. And I said, oh, are you, pract are you doing yoga now? And he just kind of looks at me, because he was really hot. And I said, yeah, well, it doesn't look like it's doing you a whole lot of good. You know, and, and I said, it's time to either get up and play with me or get your, get your ass active and get moving. And so I had literally just asked Spirit, and I didn't even hear myself give myself the answer when I videotaped that. I said to Spirit, what should I do? You know, and I went to check my yoga class. Well, what did I say to, to Liger? Well, that's not doing anything for you, clearly. So what you need to do is get, up, get your ass up and start moving and get outside. So that's what I was supposed to do. So that's why I'm here. It's funny, you give yourself your own messages and you don't hear yourself. So I, that's why for me, I like going back on these, on these readings and, and listening myself when I edit them to go post them on my YouTube channel because I hear my own messages. And the reason I showed you that was walk your walk, talk your talk. Okay, so Sandy's message. Okay. Okay, so Sandy, can you pay attention to who asked for the messages? Um, I can see Janice wants one, Mohawk wants one, Kimberly wants one. Hey, Kimmy. I was wondering if you'd be on here. Um, Felicia. Okay, so can you write those people down for me? I'm being stabbed by, by, by this dead wood that had my twin hangled up, tangled up. Ooh, that's a message. I'm being stabbed by the dead wood that had my twin all tangled up. Dead wood, dead wood. It's, it's there's something dragging him down. It's, it's nothing there anymore. It's tying him down and it's dead wood. But I freed him and I'm getting stabbed by it. Hmm, I'll think about this. Think about this tomorrow in Tara. All right, for Sandy, your message is balance. Okay, that's hysterical. Considering I just said that I came across the lake on the canoe like Robinson Crusoe balancing myself. Okay, so think about your emotional waters. I came across them, the lake was calm, um, emotional waters. Um, uh, and I said it was easy for me, right? It was easy for me. So what they're saying is balance. Everything is perfect, just the way it is. Um, they want you to own and acknowledge every part of yourself just as you are and find the balance that you're seeking. So is it a balance between work and play? Is it a balance between forward movement and resting? For me, then there's definitely a loud message. I was finding my balance. And you know what I found? I found that it was really easy. It wasn't hard for me to find my balance. So that's your message. Just just take things as they are and, 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 and imagine everything that's going on around you. Um, take a lesson from the messages. Take a lesson for the things that you're saying, from the conversations that you say to other people. Everything is the way it's supposed to be as it is right now. Um, for whatever purpose and you're just going to acknowledge that there's nothing that you need to, to fix or change or alter you just need to stay on your spiritual path and keep going um, taking the action steps that you're guided to take and everything will work out the way it's meant to work out so that's your message okay so I'm gonna to go to I don't know if you've written these people down yet uh, so can be asked yes next so I'll, I'll say Kimberly and then uh, Sandy if you can show me who's next stop stag dagging me you know what I can just break it away so if it's dead wood that's not of any use right I don't have to put up with it right I can move it I can bend it I can break it I can get it out of the way because it's not I'm not killing anything live so there's nothing um, what my twin has been tangled up in and what's stabbing me is nothing of, that's alive it's dead it's 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 something that is that it needs to be cleared out and thrown away it's dead wood that's a good message so it's so I'm not gonna stress about it there's nothing holding on to my twin that's live Ooh, I like that message okay hmm Okay, Kimmy second and then Mohawk. All right, so Kimmy, 
Whoa, Kim. Okay, this is really strange. Um, you have a different card. It, it went, it came into this deck. Um, it's not of this deck. This is interesting. So it's not of the deck of, ev ev it's not the same as everyone else's message. Uh, it comes from a different source. Um, I'm just trying to think of all the different ways to describe this and you'll, you will allow this, uh, your higher self to, to understand this message too. Everybody else is getting a reading from one deck. You're getting a reading from a different deck. Um, it inadvertently was put in here. So it's very important because of all the cards to choose, I chose that one and it came out and it's making itself known. So this is my animal messenger deck. And, um, so it, and right now the crow is screaming, walk your talk, talk your talk, walk your walk. The crow is screaming right now. I want you to look up crow messenger. You can hear him in the background. Okay, look up the crow messenger. He's your messenger right now because this is the animal messenger deck. And I read these for humans. I, this is one of my favorite decks to use and I use it in all my readings, um, all my on live readings at, in relationships because the dog represents love, unconditional love, loyalty, and friendship. Okay? This dog is saying, smile. There's a smile. And it says, I may be having mouth or throat issues. Okay, so I'm having mouth or throat issues. Am I not speaking when I should? Do I not? Um, is it painful for me to say what I need to say? Um, my gums are sore. My gums are sore. I'm losing my teeth. Okay, so if your gums are sore and you're losing your teeth, it literally could be a physical issue or it could be a symbolic issue. If you're if you're losing your teeth, um, when you go to if you if you go to tell a lie it's like your teeth are falling out or if you go to say something that's humiliating or embarrassing you want to cover your mouth because it's like you've, you're, you're, if you've, like, like you've got a tooth missing if you had a front tooth missing like I've got this crown where is it your side is it this side it's ugly there it is and there's a gap and it's dark and every time I smile maybe it's this side I have it on both sides actually I think it's this one and it's dark and I, I notice it right away in pictures I hate it because when the guy did the crown, he didn't do it close enough to the root, uh, to the to the gum, and so it's unsightly, and it embarrasses me. So I, I I either prefer not to smile as big, or I wish I could get a pen and just like color in that one little spot because it shows this dark line, and it looks like I've got rotten teeth, and I don't. It's it's a crown, but but the, 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 there's a line there, so you can see the metal from the crown underneath it. So if the person is saying that they they're embarrassed and they're covering their mouth because they're missing their teeth. Are you embarrassed to say something or is somebody caught in something and they're embarrassed to tell you? Um, also it says, um, I need toys, bones, foods or treats that will help me, my teeth, help with my teeth, um, gently brush my teeth. Okay. Teeth represent chewing on old things, chewing on the past. Okay. So there may be issues from the past that I need to, to clear away. This dead wood right? What's, what, what my twin is tangled in is it, past. It's dead wood. It's something from the past. And say if I'm using this message for him then, he needs help brushing that out of this. Like you've got something stuck in your tooth, right? You're chewing on the past. You've got something stuck in your tooth and you need help to gently brush that out. Don't, don't, don't get, don't get a, um, a little needle thing and start stabbing at it because my gums are sensitive right now. This is something that I've been chewing on in the past. Is this yourself it's speaking about or is this in somebody in your life? Help me gently brush my teeth. Help me so that I'm able to express myself because I'm having a hard time finding the right words. I'm having issues with my mouth or my throat. I don't know what to say to you. I don't know how to express what I'm feeling. Um, so help me. Is it you or is it someone else? So that's your message. And now it's Mohawk. That was interesting. I got to keep that, that card out though because. Okay. So the dog barked right when I said that. So the dog is telling you that it's definitely talking about love, unconditional love, loyalty, and friendship because the dog um, and the crow has stopped screaming. So the crow is telling you, walk your walk and talk your talk. Do what you would preach to another. Um, do it yourself. Also, as I said, go back and listen to the, um, uh, or go look up the crow message. But um, the fact that the dog barked afterwards uh, said that, yes, this is about that particular issue and the crow isn't calling anymore, so the message, and now that I said that, the crow's calling again. Isn't that interesting? Because he stopped over there and he started over here. That's interesting. He stopped over there and he started over here. I'll let you figure that out. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, my arm is getting fatigued from holding it up. Your message is alchemy. Your inner light shines when you are at peace with yourself and the world around you. So the first message is, if you don't feel peace in your life, what can you do to bring peace to your life? Clearly, this helps me find peace. I brought myself into an area where the water is calm, it's beautiful, I'm outside with nature. I've been surrounded by animal messengers. The messages that they brought me were incredible. Um, the pictures that I have are just amazing. Um, so what do you have to do to, to let go of everything in your life and find peace? Because the, the, the true master is someone who is able to find peace in the midst of chaos. The world doesn't have to be peaceful for you to find peace. It's within your power to do this. So they're wanting you to let go of the struggle. Let go of struggling to try. Like, remember the first message was, you don't have to struggle. You know, it's nothing really you have to do. Just be as you are right now. Everything is as it's meant to be right now. Just allow everything to be and just be yourself. So that was spirit yelling at me. And I walk my walk, talk my talk. <laughs> preach your practice what you preach so I am so that's what you're meant to do just just allow the yeah the singing the singing is amazing and and what was funny before is I have um I don't know I think it's uh, um there's a there's a green heron a night heron that's been hanging out here this, and he's been going from one side to another I don't know if it's him or if it's an egret that's up in that tree but there's somebody up there that was talking and the and the and the expression is hysterical it makes me laugh I don't know what they were saying but they were they had a full-on conversation and right now do you see that right now i don't know if you were able to see it because it's very small but there are these two black dragonflies that are dancing they're dancing in the sky and they're intersecting and they're going back and forth and now i'm floating i gotta get myself back hold on uh, hold on the wind is coming up a little bit which means it's not going to be that simple for me to get back across the lake but yes, it will, because I'm going to stand. Hold on. So somebody's having an argument upstairs. There's two crows, and they're having an argument. One's on one side, and one's on the other. One left and went to the other side of the lake and yelled at the other one across, and then it went back to the other person. So there's a message right now. There's two people that need to have a conversation. They, they need to talk. They separated, and they need to come together and discuss it, whether it's going to be... Um, peaceful at first um, what I'm getting is is um, um, I've already been shown this that something's gonna erupt and come to a head there's gonna be a, an emotional exchange and so what they're showing they're literally showing it right now in the animal messengers they were both over there they had an argument or a discussion or a misunderstanding one went over here and was rah, 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 and then it went back over there and then they're talking up into the tree up there and now as I look there's one that's sitting up at the front and there's one sitting to the back they're quiet right now but they're in the same space. So there's a message. So if something comes, erupts and comes to a head, they're saying, stay out of the drama. Don't talk, don't allow yourself to be dragged into uh, saying something that you don't feel. Um, express your truth, keep your calm, recognize that this is coming together because it's meant to. This is a clearing. This is um, something that needs to happen. And um, it's a blessing. And, and there's a blessing involved for both of you. Now listen, it's the crows. They make this, this sound. Okay, now, they're, now you guys can't see it. I'm watching in that palm tree. And they're closer together. So, and they're, they're making kind of like, a, it's like a, um, it's like a clicking sound. I mean, they're talking to each other. They're not screaming at each other. They're, they're having a conversation. So it's a blessing. Things are going to come together. Okay. Janice is next. Okay. Can you hear them? And what's interesting too right now is there's a family of ducks over there and ducks represent um, a, um, personal comfort, home, comfort, family. Um, it also talks about um, community, drawing together. So the fact that the crows came together and had this discussion and, 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 the, and the ducks are all coming together and they're all kind of peacefully um, coexisting over there, it shows me that whatever argument or whatever situation that there, there is, there's going to be a peaceful um, conclusion that's going to come to it they're all it's, it's going to be peaceful even if it's just that you agree to disagree whatever it is it's it, as long as you do your part and you and you remain calm and you don't lose your lose your cool okay your message is travel holiday sorry 
This is so bizarre because I mean, I keep getting messages about going on, on a holiday and I am so ready. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm clearly going somewhere. So they're saying the spirit of the ocean calls to you. Now, they are specifically saying the ocean, but it could be a lake, it could be a river, it's whatever it is, there's a body of water. It's calling to you and it offers healing. Um, they are saying the ocean. They want you to come to the water and connect because it's healing energy is um, it's it, 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 it's it's a, a healing that's gonna uh, that's going to happen as well as recharge you but you need a change of pace you need a change of scenery they want you to go to a different spot a different area they want you to take a holiday and when you go they're saying everything's gonna fall into place so um, can you hear it did you guys hear that the clicking Did you see that fish jump? You see the butterfly right there? So we've got full transformation. We've got fish jumping out of their water, which means you're going somewhere different. So if a fish is jumping out of its water, it's leaving where it normally is and it's going somewhere else. So it's not, I was, because I was, I was asking. Every time I start to, start to speak, they make that little talking noise. Oh, because that's what it is. I'm speaking. So they're talking to each other, the crows. <laughs> Every time I start to speak, they do that. Um, you guys can't hear it because I'm talking over top of them. Um, so then there's a message in it right there. When you have this, this, whoever this is, and maybe this is all of us, whenever this conversation takes place, be sure to let the other person speak. Just listen. You're going to have time to, 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 to say what you have to say, but don't talk over top of them. Don't talk over top of somebody when they start to talk to you. Be very consciously aware of that. Um, because you're in the middle of a transformation happening, and it's a healing transformation, and that can happen if you if you are peaceful, if you're willing to 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 hear the other person out. Maybe that's the message too. Are you be willing to hear the other person out? Um, what is it that they have to say? Also, pay attention to what other people are saying because they're bringing you mirrors of what's going on as well. Okay, um, that was your message as far as traveling um, a holiday, I, and and what I was asking in my head, and spirit already knew that, and so they answered me. What I was asking was. Does she have to take a, a holiday far away or could it be just like down the street or you know or you know um, Go to the beach or go to the lake, but but it feels like it's further It feels like it's further because the fish was jumping out of water So it was going somewhere that it was unusual. It was something somewhere that it, that it normally isn't so you they want you to go somewhere that you normally don't go or that you haven't gone or um, Somewhere different than your home. Anyway, that's what I'm getting. Okay, so Janice, Janice, I think that was for Janice, wasn't it? Maybe I was picking up Janice's card and I got all that information out. Did I do Janice or I thought that was for um, Mohawk. Who did I just do? <laughs> Can you tell me? I understand Mary's next, but I just wanted to know who did I do that for? Did I do that for Janice or did I do that for Mohawk? I did it for, I did Janice, okay. Mary's next. Okay, positive outcome. So there is hope. They're saying don't give up now, have faith, trust. The forces of love are at work behind the scenes. Expect a joyous and positive result. Yay! 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 So, there, there's an example. Look at the water. You can't see anything but green, right? It's just green. Some of it's dark, some of it's mirror reflection. But you don't really see anything. But there's a whole shitload ton of stuff going on down there, right? I mean, we just had a fish jump up a second ago and all kinds of activity. Now you can see what's going up, up above here. We can see there's ducks over there. We heard the crows. We saw the dragonflies flying by. You can see the boats. You can see the birds flying by up above. All that stuff you can see up above, but you can't see what's going on down underneath somebody else's emotional waters, right? So what they're saying is, even though you may not see what's going on, there are things going on behind the scenes and spirit is at work and to expect a positive, joyous outcome. Yay! <laughs> That's your message, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so now I'm doing who, Mohawk? Show who I'm doing next. Wow, it's so quiet here. 
it's so stinking quiet. The temperature underneath here is like absolutely perfect. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 94. Look at that big fat black dragonfly, see him? So interesting that I've been seeing these black dragonflies lately. Black dragonfly, you know why? Because it's Batman. Because it's my dragonfly, he's black, he's Batman. Batman's the one who lives in a cave and you don't see him and he's doing all kinds of wonderful things but you can't tell because nobody, nobody sees him. He's wearing a mask, he's hidden. He needs to come out, he needs to take his mask off, step out of this cave. Okay, Corey's next, thank you. I wish you could have seen the other Karens. I guess, you know how I say that um, sometimes we get messengers and they're just for us? This whole time that I was talking to my girlfriend, Caitlin, I had the most insane messengers that I wish I could have been recording, but they were for her and I, because her and I mirror one another's lives. And what was going on totally was punctuated constantly. Whatever, what I was saying, it was, and what was interesting is what we, um, what I spoke about in the weekly reading, everything that we um, were shown in the weekly reading just unfolded for her and I both. And, and, oh my God, you guys look, look at the pair of fish. Can you see them? Tell me that you can see them. Did you see them? Did you see them? They're huge. Remember, and you, and they, they had to get up really close. Look, look. Did you see them? Tell me you could see them. Oh my God. I get so excited when I see them. But everything that we spoke about in the weekly reading, um, was punctuated with all the animal messengers. It was like, oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. And, and I was saying to her, it didn't matter which way I went. Everywhere in my canoe, if I went from that side of the lake to, to over there, to over there, to over there, to over there, the green heron was in front of me. Every single time, the night heron. And the night heron is not supposed to be out during the day. The night heron represents my twin and my girlfriend's guy. And, and then we were watching the white, the white heron everywhere, uh, the, great, the great white uh, crane. And that represented us. And it showed that, that it was busy doing its own thing. It was over there in the, in the reeds over there, just kind of fishing. It was very patient. But when the opportunity struck, it was on it. It was so funny to watch him too. He was like shaking his head and he was like clearing his throat. He was doing all this stuff. It was so funny to watch him. But the animal messengers were just like, I, I couldn't get over it. And I said, Caitlin, go back and listen. Go back and listen to this reading because it's the weekly reading. It's everything that we're seeing in front of us right now. Everything is being punctuated by the animal messengers. It was so cool. And the fact that those two fish just went by, that is super cool. See, so everything's very, very calm. It didn't look like there was a lot going on, but that pair went by and they were huge. If I just sit here really still, I'll see it. Okay, so your message. Oh my God, same message. Same message. I'm shuffling, shuffling, shuffling the whole time I'm talking to you and you got the same message, holiday. So double emphasis on the fact that you need to go to a different place or you're gonna go to a different place. Look at it's a mermaid, so clearly I'm going. It's, it, it's, you need this healing, you need this healing, you need to get to the water. If you can't get to a lake, if you can't get to the ocean, if you, you have to, you have to. You can't do it in the bathtub. I mean, I suppose you could. I suppose if you absolutely can't do anything else, I suppose you could fake it and you could like visualize it and do it in a, in a, in a salt, sea salt bath. You know, if you set the ambiance and, and you do it that way, you could. But whatever it is, you need to get to the water, you need the peace. Um, of the water, but you definitely need a change of scenery. So you really can't do it at home. You really can't. So you got to do whatever it is that you need to do to change your scene, take a holiday and allow things to fall into place. Uh, I don't know if it, if it falls into place be, because you're with someone and you're going on this holiday, or maybe that when you go on the holiday, you're, you're finally able to relax so that your energy kind of just lets loose so that things can kind of just like shift, whatever it is. Um, it has to happen, and clearly it has to happen. You got you got double emphasis. So the fact that it, it came out twice, like, come on, I've got a whole whole deck here, and that's what came out. And I'm not looking. I'm not looking at the deck. Okay, I'm gonna look around. Who's next? Oops, sorry. Get away from me. Seriously? What an annoying. Deadwood. I'm gonna ask spirit to show me what the deadwood or who the deadwood represents. That's what I want to know. I'm thinking thoughts. Okay. Hmm, Corey. So who am I doing right now? Who am I doing? Didn't I, did I do Mohawk? Somebody's getting a reading because I already got the card. <laughs> who was it? I said I was doing six. Didn't I say I was doing seven? And I did them? Okay, anybody else want a reading? That's the question. 
If not, this message is for all of us. I was gonna say it's just for me, but that's mean. <laughs> Jody. Oh, how interesting. Jody, my best friend, wants a reading. Jody's my best friend from high school. Okay, so this is, that's a message to me. First thing you get is a black dragonfly. Up close and personal. So the dragonfly says, hold on to your dreams. Um, pay attention to your dreams right now. They're very sound. Um, they're giving you much needed information. Um, if there's a dream you've let go of, bring it back to life. Go after your dreams. You deserve to see them fulfilled. Um, so that's your first message. Then you get this. New direction. So you see she's got a star on her third eye. So she's being guided. She's getting... Um, maybe intergalactic messages she's getting she's definitely getting we've got the solar eclipse coming so she's getting um, downloads she's, she's she's got that happening um, it's definitely connected to her heart chakra and it's interesting the color that you're seeing however is of, 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 of the golden shield um, and it, there's red the red kind of gold so the reddish gold sacral chakra creativity um, seed of seed of sexual energy and it's basically saying life may seem like a whirlwind at the moment but there is actually divine order to this what may appear on the outset to you as madness um, in in the present circumstances what may appear as chaos is often angelic forces straightening things out um, it's it's the universe at work so they're sorting things um, and it's kind of like it's it always brings me back to the wizard of oz and i think about the house being taken up you know and and tossed and tossed and tossed and then when they're dropped back down um they're saying that after the storm clears you're going to be steered in a new direction you're going in a different direction than that that's why the fish was jumping out of its water it's not going to be where it went before it's coming out it's going somewhere different and right when i said that the big fat fish is going by and another fish jumped out of the water over there so the fish is on the move um it's a time of renewal it's a time of re renewed health and joy and abundance and none of the fish just jumped right when i said that so confirmation now think about that when i both um renewed joy and abundance boom the fish jumped out of the water you're going in a different direction the fish jumped out of the water so it's confirmation um also look up fish totem Look up the fish totem. You've got to think about fish moving through your emotional waters, right? Um, fish also talks about abundance and prosperity because of uh, fishing and, and bringing in what, what it is that you need, whether it be information, love, knowledge, um, wealth, whatever it is. Um, think up, look up the fish totem. Fish, fish totem on Google. Um, but we've been getting this a lot, and, 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 and it's definitely what's going on right now. The, the energy is definitely in flux. I've been saying that. There's, things are shifting. I know. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know if you guys are feeling it, but I'm kind of like, I'm just excited. I've just got this, something's going to shift. Something's going to change. Something, I, I'm going somewhere. Right now, I just want you guys to see. I don't know if you, can t if you can see that over there. Do you see how the water is sparkling? There are a billion little fish jumping up to the top of the surface of the water. See how it's very calm right here? I don't know if you can see that. They were all coming to the surface of the water. And right then the crow goes by and he's got something in his mouth. So he's bringing something home. He's taking something, he's on the move. He's taking something and he's moving. So, wow. So if you're being renewed and you're going in a whole new different, you go a different direction, it could be somebody's moving, I'm moving. I'm taking something from somewhere and taking it somewhere else, but this is your message. So the crow, you can take this a million different ways. Oh, right when I said that, it jumped out of the water. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold the camera out like this because I want you guys to see. That's what's going on here. There's a ton of fish underneath here. You can't see it, but see how the spirit said they're, they're working underneath the surface of things, that the angelic uh, energy is working. It's, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. And right here... I've got the big fat fish that's going by, but those are, that's massive activity over there. See that? Did you see a jump? That's interesting. So the crow went by, the crow is also spirit, um, and it went by with something in its mouth and it took it up into another, to a tall tree. So it went from one direction to another. Um, I'm just trying to think of all the messages that you could get coming from that. And while we're talking about it, there's major, all of a sudden, sudden activity. Um, what's in front of us is very calm. This guy is just hanging out with me. I don't know if you guys can even see him, but it's pretty cool that he's just like, it's just that one big fat fish just hanging with me. <laughs> um, 
I guess that's it. I guess that's all I'm going to get from... I don't know. That's it for your message. You're going in a new direction. Did you see that? Did you see all of them jump? Did you see that? Oh my god. It, it's these fish. It's these. You'll see them in a second. They're little tiny ones. They're Okay, one just came up to the surface. So to me, that represents new opportunities, new beginnings, definitely, because they're little fish. They're not the big one. That big fish that's hanging out down below, he's about a foot long, foot and a half long. But those little ones that are jumping in the water, those are new. Those are brand new beginnings. Those are new opportunities, new, um, new life coming to the surface, new ideas coming to the surface, new um, opportunities. And there's a lot. There's a lot of change. So that's your message. That was pretty freaking cool. I like the way they, it took me a little while to figure out what, what they were showing me. But that's what it is. New opportunities and, and new things coming to the surface. Because the fish are only about this big. And there was a lot, wasn't there? There was a lot of activity. So there's your message. Oh, you can see the big fat fish. <laughs> Dude, if I was a fisherman, I could catch him. But see, he knows I'm not a fisherman and he knows I don't want to hurt him. So he's going to hang out and be my buddy. I like that. Okay, so that's it. That's everybody's messages. Um, I'm going to Robinson Crusoe it across the lake. It's time for me to go. I don't want to be out here when it's too hot. There goes a the black dragonfly. I've never seen a black dragonfly until, yes until yesterday when I did the weekly reading, so that's, that's interesting to me. I kept hearing Black Hawk Down, Black Hawk Down, <laughs> thinking of a black helicopter because I've never seen a black, black little dragonfly before. Anyway, okay, you guys, I'm going to let you have one more look. Um, at this beautiful, beautiful scenery that I'm in. And uh, I wish you guys well. Have a great day. Thanks for joining. And we'll talk to you again and again. You're welcome. See you later. Bye.